Welcome to the Life 2.0 podcast. I'm Matt Jones, founder of Life 2.0, entrepreneur and author with a passion to help others live their best life. The purpose of this podcast is to serve others and help them to realize their full potential by sharing ideas, concepts, and strategies for their mindset, health, emotions, finances, relationships, spirituality, and more. If you want to be happier, if you want to be more positive and live a life of abundance and prosperity, live without regret, learn what it takes to live a more fulfilling existence, discover your own purpose and passions, that's what we're about. You can listen to our podcast, read our blog, and download free tools and resources at www.life20movement.com. Join the community and upgrade your life today. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me again today for another podcast. Today is very special because I'm going to be discussing a chapter out of my book about wealth. The book coming out next week is The Manifestation Bible, The Ultimate Law of Attraction Guide for Your Life and Desires. And the chapter I'll be speaking about is chapter five, Thou Shall Attract Money and Wealth. We're going to be discussing the philosophy of money, uh, the process of attracting wealth, and as well taking a look at our values and beliefs towards money. So stay with me. My name is Matt Jones, and this is the Life 2.0 Podcast. Okay guys, so I'm going to read you a section of chapter 5, Thou Shalt Attract Money and Wealth. The philosophy of money. You need to start questioning your views and beliefs about money if you expect to attract it. If you fear or despise money, you will not bring more of it into your life. If you were raised with limiting beliefs about money, such as money is evil or money doesn't grow on trees, then you were preconditioned with a scarcity mindset about money. By the time you're an adult, you already felt that getting money was hard and unattainable. You felt that money was hard to make. Your negative thoughts about money already ruined your relationship with it. If you were money, would you want to be around you? Money is nothing more than the exchange of values. There is plenty of money to go around for everybody. You can attain it. Money comes easy when you apply the right mindset with the proper action steps. So, do you need to change your beliefs and values about money? Try to answer these questions. 1. What do I believe about money? 2. Does money come to me easily? 3. What represents ways of me receiving money? 4. Why should I obtain lots of money? And 5. Why do I deserve to have money? It's important to understand our beliefs. Once the moment happens where we become aware of our beliefs, we can identify them and then let them go. You may surprise yourself about what you actually believe about money. You may say to yourself, wow, I don't even believe that anymore. You may have always thought it was evil, but maybe now you believe it is good. Know that you understand it, then let it pass. That's just what you believe now. You can shift your vibration and alter your thoughts about money. We need to understand the vibration of money itself. Dr. Joe Dispenza famously said that our vibration is a combination of what we think, how we feel, and what we do. This helps us to understand our own relationship with money. If money were a person, how would it think and feel with you? Would money want to come to you? Would money want to stay away from you? If you're busy chasing money, it implies that it is running away from you and therefore hard to reach. If you have negative thoughts about money, if you don't really honestly value the benefits of money, you're not going to attain more money. You want to think of it as having a positive and healthy relationship, a give and take, an exchange. If you bring value to money, money will bring value to you. You want to be in a good vibrational residence with money. New subject, how do we attract wealth? 
The reason most people do not attract wealth is because they are too focused on getting money rather than adding value. The way that money works, the way that money attracts, is by going to people who add value. Those who bring more value are the ones who attract more resources that develop systems that bring more value to society. You don't manifest money simply by going, I want to win the lottery, or I want to find a million dollars. This is adolescent and immature disillusioned thinking. You need to understand the energy and dynamics of how money works. Only then can you attract it. It's in the process and the details of value for money. The reason most people do not attract wealth is because they are too focused on getting money rather than adding value. Money comes to you when you are providing value. To be in a vibrational resonance with money, you have to understand what money attracts and what it does not. Money is energy. It has its own frequency. In the collective consciousness of money, we have given it that value. We have given value to the exchange of that energy. For this amount of money, you can do this, or you can have that. We need to begin to make money our friend. However, if you only focus on how to get more money, the money will not want to be around you. It's like chasing a partner you desperately want to be with. They're not going to want to be around you because you are only focused on the taking and not adding value. Money wants to come to you if you have good intentions on how to use it. The money would want to flow to you if you give it more value. So, what value are you bringing the world? What is your purpose? How do you plan to align your purpose by bringing more value? The law of attraction states that you attract what you think and feel. So start attracting the process of bringing value. The value such as money, therefore, will come back to you as a result. New subject, wealth secrets. There are many so-called secrets that rich people use to become very wealthy. However, they are only secrets if you don't do any reading or research. We live in an amazing time where you can educate yourself on any subject in under a second with a simple click of the mouse. So, ignorance is not an excuse. Start figuring out how you can learn the tools and trades of developing wealth. However, to give you a primer on building wealth, I want to discuss a few very important simple ideas for you to digest first so that you can have an educated outlook, then look into the mechanics of it for yourself. Wealthy people know how money works and how to make it work for them instead of working for it. The first terms to understand are passive income and earned income. Passive income. Passive income is money earned without the requirement of being present. Passive income is earned while you sleep. You do not have to trade your time for money. Money works for you automatically. You don't have to report to anyone to make money. You don't need to go anywhere to earn money. You're not giving away your time. Money is accumulated while you sleep. Passive income includes things such as owning a business, stocks and bonds, or owning real estate. If people in this category stopped working, they would still earn money. Earned income. The definition of earned income is money you earn in exchange for working hours. This is how the majority of workers in the world earn their money. In exchange for hours they work themselves, they get an hourly wage. They must physically be somewhere and trade their time for money more commonly known as the typical nine to five, $10 per hour, $40 per hour. This can be everything from a fast food worker to a lawyer. Earned income also includes things such as being a teacher, a doctor, or a lawyer. If they stop working, they will no longer earn money. So by knowing this simple terminology between earned income and passive income, which category would you prefer to be in? It's glaringly obvious that passive income is the road to go down if you want to live a life with more free time and personal freedom. Don't work for money. Rather, let money work for you. Nobody can become really rich and stay wealthy by working for money. New subject, 
How do I manifest passive income and wealth? To start manifesting money in a practical way, you need to start aligning yourself with an increased vibration of yourself and your relationship with other people. If you're going to give value, you need to attract people to understand the value you're bringing. People that typically have issues managing their own money are typically people who have issues managing their own lives. You can start being wealthy today. Start by making the decision to be wealthy today. You don't have to have the money yet. What you want to attract is the mindset of a wealthy person. Use the following steps. Number one, if you want to be wealthy, start acting like a wealthy person. Think like a wealthy person. Talk like a wealthy person. Read like a wealthy person. Wealthy people read. Wealthy people have small TVs and a large library. Poor people have large TVs and a small library. If you want to be something, then you have to be it. Figure out what type of routines wealthy people have. Become a researcher. What type of things do they do? What type of things do they not do? Study titans of industry. Number two, if you want to be wealthy, start taking action like a wealthy person. Wealthy people are action takers. They will break through walls to achieve their goals. They overcome limiting beliefs so that they can perform at their best. Act like a lion rather than a sheep. Fear nothing and no one. Do you have limiting beliefs holding you back from attracting wealth? Face them now and move on. You have nothing to lose. Just go for it. Number three, if you want to be wealthy, start copying wealthy people. Find wealthy people that you admire and mimic what they do. How have they built their wealth? What types of strategies do they use? Find a wealthy mentor who lives near you and offer to work for them for free so that you can learn from them. Knowledge is power. You don't become a fit person by sitting on the couch eating potato chips. You don't become financially free by watching Netflix. You don't become wealthy by not training your mind for wealth. Start today. What would a wealthy person do this morning? If you have two hours of free time, think how a wealthy person would spend that time. If you want to be wealthy, you need to be wealth educated and wealth action oriented. Quote, the only difference between a rich person and a poor person is how they use their time. Quote by Robert Kiyosaki. Next subject, powerful rules of the wealthy. Unfortunately, guys, that's all I can give you at this time. If you do want to learn more about attracting wealth, I go over it more in this chapter of the book and gives you steps and ideas towards building wealth and letting money flow into your life. So I hope that you enjoyed this chapter on attracting wealth. The book will be coming out next week and it will be available on Amazon as an ebook and as a hard book as well as available at the Life 2.0 website. So I want to thank you for listening all the way through. I truly appreciate it and wishing you guys all the best and success. My name is Matt Jones, and this is the Life 2.0 podcast. I want to thank you guys again for listening to this podcast. If you enjoyed it and got some value out of it, please take a picture of it on your phone and share it on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and also share it with your friends and tell them about it. And please leave us a nice review on iTunes or Spotify. Please remember to join the movement at www.life20movement.com. You can interact with other people like you, learn more about self-development products to really increase your life today. Thank you again for listening. It means so much to me and wishing you guys all the best and success.